Welcome to the British Republic, a large social experiment to discover if one man and his YouTube channel can truly rule in the name of entertainment and gamers all over our great kingdom. Come for our unspoiled landscapes, beautiful beaches, and if you like, why not stay? Visit the idyllic lakeside hamlet of Hambrook, or take a stroll up to the top of our most famous Mount Moon, the British Republic, taking the world one disaster at a time. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to the British Republic. Uh, I'm really happy on how this is going at the moment. Thank you for all your wonderful feedback on Instagram and on the Twitter and a few of you even left comments. So thank you very much for those. Uh, we've still got lots of things to do. I want to get the farms and I want to get the bus routes out of the way because I've been doing a bit of tarting up, sorting out a couple of roads, making the motorway look nice. W silly things that only I would care about. We also need to spread out the farm because as you can see right now, they're all really closely packed together and that's not really how farms are. Are in real life so we definitely need to deal with all of that also we've unlocked the buses because whilst I was doing all of this tarting up we managed to clip over on one of our milestones so now we have buses and a few other things unlocked uh, we'll go check those out actually boomtown yeah so we've got transport which is buses uh, we've got some proper buildings we've got ferries walking tours which I've never really bothered with at all because I think that walking tours is ridiculous who has walking tours? Regular tour buses, I understand, but walking tours is ridiculous. We've got the post service. We've unlocked ore as a specialised industry, which is a bit boring, but hopefully we'll be able to work on again, sorting out some proper farmlands and doing those industries the moment that unlocks. We've got recycling, recreational use, uh, prefer ferries, high traffic prices, and free Wi-Fi, and some extra roads and things that we've got now, that which are lovely and unlocked. Oh, and some extra power, which is very nice. And a cemetery, that's got to go down immediately. Luckily, Hamburg needs something depressing. I did sort out the school actually round the back before I show you that, because we might actually put the cemetery next to it, because it's got a car park now, and it's got a nice field behind it for the kids to play football. I haven't gone to the liberty of adding fences and putting in lights and everything yet, because that's something I'll do in the time lapse with you, rather than when no one's watching. But for now, I don't think it's too extreme to have the cemetery at the end there and we can block all of that off with trees and then when the kids aren't uh, can be when the kids aren't at school they can all be told off for playing on the graves which is something that I can imagine happening in a real school anyway if you were living near a graveyard that's got to be annoying <laughs> if you had a school right next door to the place where you're trying to do some quiet reflection how are we doing for power actually let's have a look uh, we are a little bit close, or oh, we're very close, in fact. It looks like Wild Peak <laughs> isn't quite going to cut it under wind power alone. So we might actually have to invest in a power plant of some kind. I don't really want to do that. We do definitely need housing and shopping. We did want to build a new town, didn't we? I, s I definitely want to work on that this episode, is getting a new village down here. I want it to be a bit bigger much more commercial, loads of shops, we can have maybe blocks of flats there. I think that'd be a really nice thing to do. And we could put the buses there. We could have the bus depot like on the corner and then that could come out and go round and down for all of this. That'd be really nice. But for starters, I think we should go through here and perhaps start this farm because I am just sick of it. It doesn't look very farm-like at the moment and that's something I'm gonna have to work on. Yes, we're gonna have to put in lots of trees uh, lots of bushes and start squaring some of this off. I mean, look, there's there's even like billboards and bits of fence, and I'm not really sure why. It's all really odd. When we've got the... Do we have it yet? Do we have that? I don't know if we've got the first building. I don't think we do. No, this is still locked. But when we do unlock the main farm buildings, we'll be able to build our own entire farm industry with all diff... Look at all these buildings. All of this to be unlocked just for one facility one farm and we can build lots of them and integrate them into society like a regular mayor might so i'll get started on this with a wonderful time lapse in the background will be some lovely music and as always if you want you should uh, go find out who they are and go and support them and i will see you guys on the other side
Okay, I think that's looking pretty good now. I've done lots of little things, as you've probably just seen. I've added loads of these. Um, we've got hedges, we've got some fences going on. I've added some pathways that sort of meander through some of the woodland. I've tried to do the main bulk of it. Some of these background parts I'm not 100% about at the moment because I feel like they're going to change as we add roads and paths that go through to our new town when that starts to spring up and that will kind of change the dynamic on this side so we'll see how that goes but i think that the lower wilds is looking much much better now certainly more farm like without it all packed together but that has somewhat changed how everybody's looking at the world because they want much much more shopping not as much housing and they now obviously don't need as much industry because i've now tarted all of this up and it's probably much more efficient than it was earlier so our next job is probably going to be starting out our brand new little little village slash town over here. I think it's probably going to be a full on town so that we can get some of the housing and commercial <laughs> under control because we do need lots of commercial. It's going to be a proper town. Um, I think we'll be able to put in loads of shops, flats, commercial high streets, maybe try and fit in a market or a fairground somewhere and definitely need to have the buses as well which we'll probably put down here and is what we will start with. So I've got some bus roads so we'll put in a roundabout. Oh yeah it's a motor world. we're not going to put in a roundabout. No 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 we're not going to do that. I'm going to whip up a bridge in a 10-20 second time lapse for you which will go over here and connect these two motorways to a sort of a nice bit that will go over and then that can be where the high street will start. And then off of that, we'll have a little roundabout and a bus lane, which will go straight onto the motorway directly. And that can be how the buses get on and off. Because we don't really want to clash buses with the rest of the traffic, because they can sometimes slow each other down. All the buses in the world going through one, one uh, overpass is normally bad. So I will get on with that. There we go, that took a little bit longer than I was expecting it to, but I wanted it to look really nice and I am actually really pleased with that. I think that that's superb. The only thing I've got to do that's left is join it up on this side, which will just take two seconds, and then we'll start adding on the extra lanes to the bus road, which won't take us long. If I can fit this onto here, that would be lovely. There we go, I was just about to start getting annoyed then. We'll make a little bit of a junction there, but that in itself is okay, because I'm going to fiddle with all of that afterwards that'll probably go into the next episode or maybe even another time lapse we'll see but these junctions are a nightmare so that'll be something for next time for now let's get our bus routes in so i'm going to quickly join this one over to here and we'll have it coming straight off of there and that can be the first bus lane it will go straight to here that has access to the motorway and that should be nice and simple and it will take all the stress off of here because we're going to also allow them to come on and off straight onto here, but only onto one side of the motorway. So that if they want to come off of the motorway or on to get back out onto the out from the town, they won't have to use this roundabout, which again is just great for stopping them from being everywhere and uh, clogging up the entire system because buses are awful. I mean, I love them. They're probably one of my favorite modes of transport um, in the game other than sort of trying to work out a proper train network, but at the same time, they are arteries that get clogged very fast when you fill them with fill them with buses. And the only real way to keep everything flowing really nice is to have quite a lot of buses. Certainly when you're using the mods that I am, because I've got the real-time mod, which most of you know by now from the other series, but if you don't, uh, we've got a real-time mod, which means that, as you may have noticed down here, we've got the time and it says 30 11 minutes past one and that goes very very slowly it also means that 
uh, speed is different for the day and night. We have weekends where people won't go to work. Uh, there are different probabilities for people having like lunch, lunch hours, going shopping, uh, whether or not they're on time to work. Everyone goes to school at the same time in the morning, so you can actually wait until six or seven and everyone will get up. Um, that's Those are the times there. And then obviously you've got all the simple things like making sure that all of the people are driving properly and that they're, you can't speed anymore. Because if I press play, oh, you can't really see there's no cars. But when you watch me pre press play in a bit, you will notice that all the cars are going quite, quite slowly because um, they are trying to behave as real life, as real life like as they can, which I really appreciate. I think that's awesome. Because uh, the buses are one thing that I really enjoy using and it's so much better when they're driving at proper speeds and you can then go first person and have a ride around the town. It's something I want to work on doing more of is having uh, time lapses which are like of bus routes. I think people quite enjoy them. I've just never really given them much for go and I think it's something that if you want to see that, let me know and I will get on it. But if not, then tell me and I won't. But I think in my head it would be quite nice to have some bus time lapses once we've got them down maybe have a trip around the entire circuit and i'll turn all the graphics up and we'll see how that looks but i think that'll be cool we'll have to turn the buses off here just our uh, buses off we'll have to turn all the other cars off because we don't want anyone else other than buses to use it we are going to allow um, recycling and sos sos just means all the services so police uh fire ambulance and i think I think that also includes post and uh, like the emergency services and when I say emergency services I mean uh, the actual like tsunami emergency services not just like the police but more than that just switch all of these off we'll ban them between two junctions apparently this one doesn't count lorries yep and then just this one and that will stop anyone except the buses using it and we'll have a nice clean area to start tarting up and using for our buses. Yeah, we can put this, oh, where to put it? Um, yeah, we'll put it here, we'll put it just about here because we can concrete this area up and tart it up a bit because that makes this roundabout look massive because it is and it does not need to be this big. We'll bring that down a lot because roundabouts are really quite small, certainly for buses. Admittedly, they have, they're quite big, but they have quite a good turning circle because they are designed to go round tiny corners, so that's perfect. Yeah, and then if they uh, do need to come on or off, they can use this or this, which will make it much easier to get into the main bulk of the town. Uh, this is really bothering me, though. I'm going to have to do this now. I thought I was going to be able to leave it, and I don't think I can. So let's just bring these in because they wouldn't be this far away. It looks horrible. It should be much, much tighter to the actual road. Because I'm going to have to put some uh, actual directions in here, but it's not as complicated as it looks, as you will soon see when I go in to do it. If I click here, right, we'll bring that one, because you are only able to go here. And you are only able to go here. And then these ones are only able to go there and there. So it's all, it looks a bit of a mess, but it is actually very simple. At some point I'll probably put some lines down the middle and do some uh, nice paintwork on all of this to tart it up because some of it looks very blank like that when in fact there would be road markings so that's something I'll probably get onto. I really enjoy doing road markings and really tiny details on things that gives me a real kick and I really enjoy the fact that everyone else seems to enjoy watching me make them so that's very nice of you all to say. Thank you so much. You bring real joy to my life so if you have been enjoying any of this do hit the like button and the bell icon to be notified of when more videos are going up because it does give me a real boost and it lets me know that you are enjoying them and that you want to see more of them because I don't know if you want to keep seeing these. I do all sorts of things on the channel but I personally really enjoy City Skylines because it gives, um, I, I find it very therapeutic managing lots and lots of tiny things and it takes a bit of pressure off of doing the VR editing and all the things which require many, many hours of being sat in front of a computer dealing with sound effects and ridiculous amounts of rendering which can take literally sometimes like my Skyrim videos which are done in VR and uh, have all the extra sound effects and stuff added on, they take days sometimes to render. My computer is awful 
but it only has two games on it in itself, the computer, and that is City Skylines and Kerbal Space Program. And the two of those games make me very, very happy because you can just make things like this that just look so neat and tidy. So let's get the bus routes. Let's not worry about this bit for now because this is going to grow into a town over time. Uh, if you've got any names for it, do let me know. But for now, we'll get a bus route in and start moving some people around because I think that would really help in some regard with some of these problems. People probably can't just get to work. It's quite a long way to go by car from here all the way to the farmlands over here. And there is only one, one set of paths at the moment and the paths don't come over the motorway. So you can't walk over there, you'd have to get a car. So a bus might really help with that. And we will start the bus line in the city center or town center, because there's a, there's a car park here. So we could put it there which would be perfect. And then as they come in, they'll go back out and we'll go in a big circle from there. And I don't know if we actually need that many. We'll put one at the other end because there's actually a little plaza area here with some trees. So we'll put that down. And then you've got the, uh, the hospital or at least the doctors because I suppose it's only small. Then we've got the school up here, the high school and the secondary school or the primary school and the secondary school depending on your where you are in the world and then the uh, also the cemetery which we put down that should be really good for letting people go to visit their dead and we will move that one up there and bring this over to these two because it might be all right just using one big bus route for these ones and then joining this circuit to the other town on another bus route because you don't want to make bus routes too big and too complicated but at the same time, you don't want to leave people out either, which is much worse. Uh, there's actually some room here. Could probably get away with just one bus stop for this whole area. It is tiny, so I might just stick it in. I might just stick it in there and be brave about it. And we'll just see how it goes. And then again, for here, we only really need one bus stop. But where? There isn't really a, a good place. Oh yeah, there is. Right in front of this block of flats at the back would be just perfect. And then out the other side, a quick whip round of the farms. Or maybe not, because not everyone's going to want to go to the farms. This is really just to get around and visit your mates, go shopping, go to the doctors. People aren't going to want to sit on a bus that goes all the way to the farms and back just to go, just to go and speak to a doctor about something. So we'll do another bus route that just does the farms and takes them into Hamburg. And then they can always transfer bus. I don't see a problem with that. bring this all the way down to Hambrook. Uh, I suppose if they're going to transfer buses, it might as well be in the same place. We'll have to change the color of this bus route or I'll very quickly lose track of what it is I'm looking at. Um, should we do one bus stop that it shares with each of these? So it's basically a bus route that does the same thing, but doesn't hang around in the town. It just goes there once and then leaves so that no one has to stay on the bus route for too long. And that should cover both areas very nicely. However, immediately after we've done that, it's gonna start kicking off about how much money we're losing because that's gonna cost us a lot. It's gonna kick out loads of buses. It always does too many buses. It's ridiculous. It seems to think that all because you've got four or five different uh, bus stops that that has to be it. But I will quickly press play. We'll let a few of the buses up here. There we go. See, look how slowly they're going. They're not really slow, but it is quite slow. We'll deal with the bus lines uh, and, oh yeah, I forgot there's been the update now so we can pick what the buses are. Wonderful. Oh, that's even nicer. God, all these lovely updates that I didn't know about. Right, uh, six stops, three vehicles, five stops, four vehicles. That's not too bad, but those numbers are going up, aren't they? Yes, it's apparently wants 10, 10. That's ridiculous. 10, we'll bring the budget down to zero and set that ourselves. But anyway, thank you very much for joining me this time. If you've enjoyed any of this, please hit the like button. It really helps me out. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any more videos. Give me a name for anything at all and let me know what you actually think of all of this because I think it's going really well. I think it's starting to look very good. I think that we're starting to really hone in on our British archetype for what this should all be because it really does remind me of home. I'm just trying to recreate things that I see every day. So. Thank you very much for joining me this time and we will see you all in the next glorious episode of The British Republic. <laughs>